Hello, how are you? Today let's talk about why teeth are the shape that they are. On the example of this lower bicuspid number 23. So what do I mean by what shape they are? Like when we're gonna build it as a uh, you see in my previous videos probably you notice that I always check where the height of counter is and the height of counter is this bump over here and this is where it is right and where the occlusion is and it goes it slopes down to here to the one height of counter and the second one over here so there is a big bump over here as well so why are they there so those bumps are there because of the function of these teeth so bicuspids one of bicuspids function is to chew the food on the way to the molars where it's really getting grinded. You don't see these molars in here, but uh, when the food gets into the mouth, your tongue is moving your food onto the occlusion of the teeth, where it gets grinded and chewed. Right? So those places which we call occlusion are the surfaces which your teeth um, grinding and chewing your food with. The bump in here is so when you're chewing and your food starts falling off your occlusion down the bump is preventing it from going down because it's rubbing on your cheek and that way the food is being pushed back to the occlusion where it can be chewed further so it's very important to make the bumps on the teeth that's why and the bumps should be all on the same level so then the teeth look more harmonious you know if I would check where is the bump in here it's gonna be approximately the same as in here, so they all go in the same uh, place. Also, the occlusion of the tooth is supposed to be in the same row, you know, so like this occlusion is here, so my occlusion should be somewhere here and this one as well. Unless you have some, of course there are exceptions to that rule. Sometimes a uh, person has teeth that are erupted or just crooked to begin with. and Like this tooth, for example. When the mouth becomes too crowded and uh, usually when the jawbone is very small and uh, the teeth don't have enough place then they start pushing each other out you see this one that is because it's too crowded so in that case the doctor can prescribe you braces or extract a couple of teeth that also happens when it becomes extremely crowded that is usually happening if you are breathing through your mouth and uh, your mouth is often open so there is no stress on your jawbone and it becomes smaller and smaller and more and more narrow it usually happens with aging it teeth become more crowded so for that you can look up uh, the exercise it's called mewing that's when you put your 
uh, turn to the roof of your mouth and close your teeth tightly together and you breathe only through your nose the, all the time uh, and it helps to put enough stress on your teeth but like of course without clenching them too hard and uh, it would prevent the teeth from cr crowding when you're older all right so i scooped it out and now i'm gonna apply some of translucent porcelain also very important thing is direction in here the direction is going this way this is not the best um, example to show you why occlusion is certain shape because that would be the bite you see teeth are like details in the mechanism their function is to chew food so therefore the every little part of the shape of every tooth is a certain shape not by chance but for the function so if you know what the function of teeth is of each tooth is it would be much easier to build it correctly and if you build it correctly and the function is there then they're gonna look very good as well All right. so I built my um, height of contour as you can see and now my occlusion is right where it's supposed to be here oops it took some off but it's okay so you can see how the cusps are kind of rolling in a little bit inside the occlusion so there is a bump over here okay I'm gonna make it a little more pronounced so you can see it better so that bump also prevents the food falling from over here underneath the tongue so every time it goes from this part where it's been chewed down it hits the bump and then the tongue can bounce it back on the surface and now I'm going to apply a little bit of occlusal enamel. I've been doing it recently to frame my work. Okay, and just like that I'm done. Um, as you can see, my crown came out a bit on the large side. But that is okay because is gonna shrink a lot here it is in the bite okay so now i'm gonna bake it and i'll see you very soon okay i'm back so this is the crown out of the oven let's see um i probably need to adjust my direction a little bit let's see the height of contour so height of contour is in a proper place this is the bump just where it's supposed to be now let's check the line angles okay line angles are good all right now let's see the occlusion Occlusion is also pretty good. 
Alright, so next up I can grind. Now you see how my occlusion is going in on both sides. So there is a bump in here, just like over here. And there is one in here too. So that's very important when you're building a crown. And uh, also I didn't do, I did the contacts already, but I didn't do the, the bite. Let's see. All right, so now I'm just gonna smooth it out a little bit. definitely don't want to ruin my shape so <coughs> this is the direction so now I'm gonna first uh, move from this line towards here then from this line towards here then here and here the same way. thing I'm gonna do is just accentuate the occlusion a little bit okay so now the crown is ready for glaze as you can see I have little tears and whatnot this is a regular porcelain, the one that I built the crown out of. So I will fill it in right now how I want it and glaze it at the same time. And then I'm gonna put it on the program and when it's gonna come out I'll just polish the spots where I applied porcelain. Okay, now it's ready for glaze. I'll see you soon. And that's what came out. As you can see, I tried to copy the bumps over here and the one over here is at the same level I don't know if you can see from here yeah. there it is okay and um, yes yeah, so the occlusion also is the same And this is the crown in the bite. That's what it looks like. Lingual part where I added. It all closed very well. So now it's ready. Also, um, well, this is not a very good. Um, model but I wanted to show you a little bit of the morphology of um, hold on maybe maybe this one okay so this one is better so the upper teeth are a little more um, straight then not the bumps are not so pronounced so you can see in here but they're still there if you look from here you can see the bumps but they are much less pronounced than on the uh, lower because here the the food rarely can go up in the mouth you know when you're chewing it. so there is a small bump here and there so it will always go from the cheek onto the occlusion 
All right, so uh, that's it. Like this video if you enjoy watching it. And um, I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.